In this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to how you can log in and use MATLAB through the university terminal servers. Now, warning, this process will only work if you're on campus and connected to either Pacific Net Pro or Pacific Net, as most of you will be as students. This process will also be different on a Mac, and you may have to consult your favorite resource for how to adjust what I'm about to tell you here. Now, on a PC, there is a remote desktop connection program. Now, it's, it shows up under my most recently used programs. It may not under yours, and you may have to search, uh, search your machine and search your operating system for where this program is located. But once you open it, you'll see an option for computer here. And if you're any student on campus, you can use the student terminal serve, which I already have on my machine listed here, and you can copy it onto yours. It's STU for student, and then TRM for terminal, and SRV for server, and then dot STK for stockton.pacific.edu. And if you're an engineering student, you can also use the ECS terminal server, which is exactly the same, except the first three letters are replaced with ECS. So I'm going to use the student one since I don't have access to the engineering. And when you start establishing a connection, you'll be taken to a screen that will ask for your university ID and log on. And you want to make sure to select STK here, log on to STK. And apparently I typed in my password wrong the first time. Now when you connect, you may not see MATLAB show up immediately. That's just how it was on my desktop. But if, if not, you just locate the MATLAB icon under the start menu and start it up and you're ready to rock and roll.